What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Bob Arum. You know, this isn't new news. This was is a few days old. When I heard it, I was kind of like, mm, I wasn't going to do a, you know, a video about it, but I guess it should because of things I do need to counterpunch about this. Bob Arum has stated that Anthony Joshua is, you know, he, he has uh, uh, a suspect chin. He says if he ever fights Deontay Wilder or a fighter with on, you know, with that type of punching power, he's out like a light. You know, um, me counterpunching that, first of all, there is certain truths to what Bob Arum said. When he gets when he when Anthony Joshua does get hit, he stumbles a little bit. But those, mind you, and he, you know, he got dropped with the Vladimir, but he got back up. Okay? With the Pavectin fight, his last fight, actually. He got, you know, Pavectin, you know, rattled him a little bit. You know what I mean? Um, now, as far as him being chinny, you know, Dillian White hit him with that with that rising hammer left hook, you know, and, and had him, you know, stumbling. We've seen those legs do those do that dance. Those legs don't lie, guys. When you see someone's legs either stiffen up or buckle, that's real danger you know what I mean? you know that's potential danger to that fighter getting knocked down or knocked out because you know it's showing that you know it, it's a it's a it's a physical thing once you get hit in your cerebral area in your head right or the chin you know it should send signals to your legs and makes your legs do a certain you know um reaction and that reaction is oh i just got the shit knocked out of me so yeah that is true but to say he's a chinny guy I would disagree on that. And on top of that, isn't this the same Bob Arab that told Anthony Joshua he needs to leave the zone and join ESPN? Now, if he felt that way about Anthony Joshua, why would he want to take a fighter on like Anthony Joshua if he felt he was all that chinny? Hmm. Think about it, guys. You know, you make one statement talking about, hey, uh, you need to leave the zone and come with us. And then, and then, you know, and then later on you say, oh, he's chin. He's going to get knocked out. He has a sus suspect chin. You know, it seems like to me, uh, uh, I think that either words got back to Bob, you know what I'm saying? And it wasn't what he wanted, that reaction from the statement that he made. He didn't get what he wanted, you know, or he didn't get the type of reaction he wanted from the mistake or from the statement that he said. Well, then I guess not me put out another one. Well, you you chinny anyway. You chinny anyway, kid. You're going to get knocked out. <laughs> you know, Deontay's going to knock you in the next year. Okay, well, you know, you wanted this same chinny guy, though. So I had to counterpunch that because I'm like, you know, you don't want fighters. That's just like Amir Khan. We know Amir Khan doesn't have a chin, right? It's like him saying, oh, hey, I want to sign Amir Khan. Right. And then, you know, nothing happens for that. It's just a statement that he made. Then later on, he says, oh, well, he's Chenny anyway. You know what I mean? Well, we knew that before you made the statement that you said there, Jack, there, Bob, you know. So anyway, that's just me uh, counterpunching Bob Arum for the statements that he made because they're very contradicting. And I had to counterpunch that. You guys tell me what you think about Bob Arum's statements. Is it true that, that AJ does have a suspect chin? You guys let me know. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys have been counterpunched. Peace.